Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allison. I am a junior and like a half at the University of North Texas. Today I'm going to be filming a video that I've been thinking about filming for a really long time and it's just something that's like kind of hard for me to open up about. Um, people that are in like my close circle, I guess, of like people that I talk to, my family, that kind of thing, obviously they know about the situation. Um, but by the title of this video, you are aware that today I'm going to be sharing my sorority experience at the University of North Texas. And before I get started, I just want to say, I'm not trying to slander Greek life at the University of North Texas in any way or the sorority that I was in. Um, I wish them the best, obviously, and I just don't feel like looking at a situation with anger. It doesn't help. So um, that's just that. I have no like harsh feelings towards the sorority at all. I'm still friends with quite a few of the girls in the sorority, maybe like three, I don't know, not that many. Um, but I just want to say like I love the girls that I did meet from the sorority and I wouldn't wish them um, any like ill will or anything like that. And I do understand that my sorority experience is totally um, on me, partly, not completely. So I formulated a list on my phone of like everything to go over because it's kind of a lot. So firstly, I'm not going to be mentioning the sorority that I was a part of in this video because I just don't feel like that's necessary and no one will really like gain anything from, from me mentioning that. Obviously, it was my experience and no one else's, so I don't feel like that is crucial to the story. Um, and I just, I don't, I don't feel like it's necessary. First off, I went in as a COB, which is a continuous something bid. I don't know. I was in the sorority for like three months. Not like the biggest, like I don't know all the terms really, to be honest with you. I went in like after recruitment and they usually do something called COBs when the chapter is not full and they're needing more members, um, so basically like the bills are paid, they have to have like a specific number of girls in the sorority chapter. So um, I came in later, I think it was like October or November, it was a lot later. Um, most of the girls that were in my pledge class were already there for a month or two, um, so that kind of gave me a disadvantage as well. Um, obviously that's out of my control, that was out of their control. I, I did not go through formal recruitment, so that's just the way it is. So I feel like from the start when I joined, I didn't really feel like I fit in. And let me elaborate on that because I'm not really a girl that hangs out with a bunch of other girls that can like have those like social interactions with a bunch of other girls. Like, and that should have been something that I took into consideration before I joined. I'm just not really like, I'm girly, but I'm not, it's very hard for me to connect with other girls and obviously that's completely like on me, like that's not anyone else's fault. But I grew up with brothers and I'm just, I'm not, I don't have the personality type I feel like to fit in with a lot of other girls. So from the start, I kind of felt like I did not fit in. And that, like I said, is not anyone else's fault. It's purely my like problem. I wouldn't say it's my fault for not fitting in, but it's definitely like not on anyone else other than myself. Um, so that's the kind of thing. I just didn't really feel like I fit in. Like the things that other girls would talk about, I couldn't really like collaborate on in a conversation because I couldn't relate directly. As I mentioned, I came in as a COB and a lot of like events and all of those things were already going on when I joined. So I kind of had to go to a lot of things alone. I had a big um, for probably like the last month and a half of me being a part of the sorority, which definitely helped. But before I had a big, it was very hard for me because I felt like I went to a lot of things alone and I got tired of going to things alone because I would go alone and then I would get there and I would sit alone and maybe like two or three people would say hi to me, but then they would like walk away and I would sit alone. And it was just like really uncomfortable for me because I felt like all of the other girls um, already had like their formed like clicks that kind of thing so it was hard for me to find a place going along with going to things alone I feel like it wasn't as welcoming as it should have been which I totally get they already went through recruitment I was a COB like 
they were like kind of past that phase of like making the new girls feel welcome because most of them already were like welcomed and they had been there for a little while but I kind of personally felt like since that was already done with the other girls that less of an effort was made with like welcoming me and making sure that I knew everyone's name and that like people would talk to me and that kind of thing and I definitely understand that like I could have introduced myself to people and I could have talked to people as well but when you're coming into a sorority and everyone knows each other but you don't know anyone I feel like that would have that should have been on them um, to like introduce themselves to me and just make me feel welcome and I have talked to friends that were in sororities at different universities and this isn't even like the, the fact that it's at the fact that this story is from another university doesn't really change the story at all um, but she told me that whenever they um, like rushed and had new members uh, it was like really important to like make them feel like special and a part of something and just really welcoming inviting them to all different kinds of things so whenever she told me that it kind of made me more upset because I felt like I really missed out on that um, most people I feel like didn't even really know my name unless they followed me on Instagram and Instagram is not real life like I, I mean it's nice to get more likes I guess but like that's not what the sorority was about for me like I wanted to make connections with people and make friends and following me on Instagram didn't really like benefit me in any way like I feel like it was very like surface like they would like my photos and sometimes comment and that kind of thing but like in real life no one would talk to me and I just don't feel like that's right like I feel like it should be the opposite way like if you're gonna talk to me in real life then yeah let's comment on each other's Instagram photos and like boost each other but like if I don't talk to you in real life it's so awkward I don't know another thing is whenever I went through the process to get my big I went on like little dates I guess I forget the name of it like the formal name but I went on like little dates with other girls that were looking for littles and something that really just like made me feel weird was whenever I would go on like these little like outings or dates with other girls to like find my big and like see if we had a connection um, they would like badmouth each other to me and it was really uncomfortable because it was like very apparent that they wanted a little so they felt like they needed to badmouth my other options in order for them to like be chosen or for me to like say I want them as my big and I just felt like that was really like the opposite of what I thought a sorority was like I felt like we were supposed to support each other and regardless of like the situation you're in of wanting a little it was just really weird to me and all the girls I met with they were not all like that but I did have a couple where I was like that's weird like she's your sister like you shouldn't be like slandering each other like that so that was just kind of weird I didn't really think a whole lot of it when it was happening because I just really wanted it all to work out um, but looking back it was really strange I'm not gonna lie like I feel like it shouldn't have been that way when I was going through the process to join the sorority, they would, um, I met with a girl and we just like went and ate and like talked and stuff about the sorority. And then next she took me on a tour of the house because like I said, I did not go through formal recruitment. And I just felt like it was kind of rushed, like they needed another member. So they felt like it had to be like pushed and rushed along. And I didn't feel like I really even knew anyone when I joined. Which I don't know if that's like how it's supposed to be because I did not go through formal recruitment like I've mentioned a trillion times already. But it was really weird and it felt really rushed and I felt like looking back on it I feel like they were just looking for another member I guess not specifically me to the sorority and feeling like they like wanted me to be a part of it. It was more like just a person like they needed someone and I just happened to be the one in that position that they chose. Um, but looking back on it, I feel like it was kind of forced and it's not anyone in particular's fault. It's just kind of like, I don't know. Also, after I joined, I would wear my letters on campus because obviously I was really proud to be a part of the sorority and I felt like I would see a lot of the girls also in the same exact letters and they would not even like look at me. And it was just so awkward because I was like, we are sisters. Like, we are wearing the same letters and I feel like it, they just didn't care. So basically this is just like a breakdown of all the things that just like didn't go right um, as a part of my 
overall experience but in the long run these specific um like situations made it not worth it for me if i'm gonna be paying um like money you can choose your payment plan but i was paying semesterly and if i'm gonna be paying semesterly i just don't feel like i should be paying for something that's not benefiting me in any way it's not growing me as a person it's not like uplifting me in fact like after i went to things i was really sad i would call my mom crying after like everything i went to and I just feel like it shouldn't be like that. I shouldn't be paying money to feel like that. I feel like it should be the exact opposite. Like if I'm going to be paying for something, I feel like I should be growing and benefiting from it. And I felt like I wasn't. And I feel like I should have trusted my gut more. I had a lot of situations that kind of left me with weird feelings, but I just kept going because I wanted it to work out so bad. And looking back, I should have trusted my gut and I should have just went with how I felt instead of just trying to force things. So if you're going through a similar situation, I recommend just like listening to yourself. It In the moment, you feel like you're being dramatic and you feel like it's not that big of a deal, but if it's something that you think about for longer than like 10 minutes, I feel like it's kind of a big deal and you should listen to your gut. Another thing is I have a lot of friends from high school that rushed at other universities and I felt like since they were doing it, I needed to be a part of it because I felt like it was a great opportunity and if all these other people were doing it, then why would I not be doing it? I don't feel like we should feel like just because everyone else is doing it, we should do it. I should have known that, like that this kind of situation is not something that I would like thrive in. And obviously it could have gone way different and it could have gone so good for me and I could have found a sorority that like I fit perfectly in. But obviously that was not the case for me. And I feel like we shouldn't feel so much pressure around the idea of rushing. Um, you should really just listen to your gut and do what you think is best for you and just trust yourself. Um, trust the way that things make you feel and don't feel like, don't think too much into what other people think and what other people are doing. So basically, those are my thoughts and my experience of rushing. That is my sorority experience at the University of North Texas. Like I said, in the beginning of this video if you feel inclined to rush and it's something you're excited about and something that means a lot to you i definitely recommend that you do it um you learn a lot about yourself through the process and regardless if you stay in the sorority or if you end up dropping i always think that you should give it a shot so even if you do go through rush and then you decide that it's not for you i think at least you gave it a shot because i feel like if i didn't take advantage of this opportunity i've I would have always like wondered like what if so I do not regret going through this process in any way I feel like it definitely strengthened me and taught me a lot about myself and my personality um and basically that's all I really have to say about this but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye